Dylan Mulvaney is a government stooge. Yes, you probably have heard of this unbalanced, creepy, disturbed individual who is trying to pretend to be a woman. But he is not only trying to pretend to be a woman, he is actually trying to pretend to be a little girl. His series are not called uh, Days of Womanhood. They're not called Days of Femalehood. They're called Days of Girlhood. This guy is prancing around like a five-year-old in his uh, deranged manner. He is acting and talking like a 12-year-old and his manner of speaking is very condescending, childish-like, so it is clear that he is that his content is catered towards the younger generation, younger population of this country. And I believe that he's just a tool of the current administration to promote not only the LGBTQ alphabet agenda, but also pedophilia. And um, Besides, you know, this topic being inserted in every movie on Netflix, every teenage movie on Netflix, uh, cartoons for little children, you know, government agencies like the military, you know, like the calling, the recruitment ad that features a cartoon featuring two mommies and a girl as well as the CIA campaign ad featuring unbalanced individuals bragging about their mental illnesses because God forbid that's the kind of people that we want to protect our country from invasions and terrorist attacks. And um, what solidified this fact for me is that he has met and interviewed with our president, his pants, baby catch, Bo Jiden, in the White House. So please do tell me what can be such an honor to have an interview with a president. What can be such a pressing issue that you will be hanging out with this guy that was installed, quite obviously. And having an interview with him. Obviously, this is all the government's agenda. Not really an agenda because it's like written in black ink on white paper these days. But the fact that he used to be an actor speaks volumes. I believe that it's all an act. And the fact that he was indeed invited to the White House is another sign that he's a plant, okay, a government plant. And also, of course, the fact that he does not want to cut off his manly junk to become a woman and is pushing the normative that it's okay for women now to have penises. This is uh, where we are at now. And it's quite clear that our current administration is pushing the agenda of not only um, alphabet issues, but also pedophilia. So yeah, that's just my two cents. Bye.